It's Lisa from TheBudgetEquestrian.com, and today I'm going to show you how I go about grooming my horse. This is Frisbee, and he's nice and shiny because I spend about 10 minutes a day grooming him, and it's really easy, and I'm going to show you what I do to make him shiny. So the first thing is you want to make sure you have all of your supplies close by so that you're able to reach them when you're grooming. Um, and as you can see, Ethan likes to pull on my brushes and stuff. So typically I will set them everything down on the ground to make it easy for me to reach. The very first thing that you need to do, um, and this should be done on a daily basis, in my opinion, is picking out your horse's feet. This is really important because it gives you the opportunity to check their feet, make sure there's no stones or anything in there, and also to get like any bedding any wetness out of that's you know could be sitting in the, on, on the hoof because then you can get problems like thrush or it can cause lameness so very very important to pick out your horse's feet on a daily basis and also before you're going to be riding it's a good idea to do it as well um, if you want to after you pick out their feet you can also um, apply hoof oil or if you have anything you want to put on you can do that so the next step is you're gonna take some sort of a curry instrument. So what I have here is these are um, hands-on grooming gloves. So they basically act like a curry comb and you just wear them like gloves. And they're nice because you only ha you have two hands that basically act as a curry comb. And Frisbee really likes this. And it's like I'm giving him a, him a massage while I'm grooming him. So it's kind of a, you know, a win-win for me and for him. Um, it makes it a lot easier to get all of the dust and, you know, the loose hair and stuff out. So that's the idea of curring. You want to be careful if your horse is sensitive on his tummy or his legs. You don't want to push too hard because the, if you're using a curry comb, that can be kind of rough. So these... Uh, hands-on grooming gloves are really nice because they're gentle they have nice little nubs on them so it gives them a massage and it loosens all of the dirt and dust and dander and hair um, and it makes just makes it really nice and easy to get him clean and it I mean it's a workout as you can see I'm like rubbing and scrubbing and Frisbee's thoroughly enjoying it, but this is a really good time for you to, you can examine, you know, your horse's skin. You can see if there's any cuts, any bruises. So that's why it's really important um, to do this on a daily basis. And besides the fact that it's going to make your horse nice and shiny, and it also gives you an opportunity to spend more time with your horse. And if it's only 10 to 15 minutes a day, I think it's well worth it. It also gets them used to standing and basically showing them, hey, you're the boss, not the horse. The second step is to use a stiff brush. Um, this is probably one of my favorite brushes. I've had it for a really long time and can't think of the name of it, but it's just really, really stiff bristles. So what I'm doing is basically whisking away all of the dirt, dander, and dust that I you know, stirred up when I was using the, the curry, the hand, the hands on grooming gloves. So I'm just basically whisking all of that dust off of him. And every once in a while, I have a curry comb in my other hand and I will knock some of that dust out of the brush with the, the curry. And I do that more as I get towards the end of doing the, the grooming with the, with the stiff brush. Um, I like the stiff brush. This one has synthetic bristles. So, but they're, they're soft, but they're really stiff, but go with the growth of the hair pattern and that will help to get rid of the excess dust, dirt, and it also stimulates the, the circulation system. So it's a good idea to use a stiff brush first and then you move on to the softer brush. A stiff brush I've also heard as called a dandy brush, but anything with stiff bristles is good. And as you can see, Frisbee likes when he gets his tummy brushed <laughs> and he's getting impatient and saying okay I'm done it's time for me to eat usually I do my grooming probably right before I put him in for the night they get turned out all day so then I decide okay it's time to groom him look over and make sure he didn't get cut or anything um, throughout the day 
The next step is I'm going to use a soft brush or this would also be can be referred to as a finishing brush. And again, I still have the curry comb. Um, the, it's a rubber curry comb in my other hand. So then I knock off the dirt and dust that's getting into my fancy brush, my fancy finishing brush. Um, because I don't want to keep all that dirt and stuff in there because then it kind of defeats the purpose and it's not going to make him shiny. So I'm just kind of rubbing the brush all over him. Again, going with the growth pattern of the hair and he has to get into everything. So that's what move your, if your horse does that, move the grooming box away. But I'm just going along with his growth, the growth pattern of his hair and getting rid of the rest of the dust that's on there. Now this is a it's called a Diva brush, and I actually bought it on um, Smart Pack. And I have to say, this is probably my favorite finishing brush um, because it totally brings out the shine in the horse. It, you know, the dirt seems to get attracted to it. The center of the brush, it's not bristles; it's actually sheepskin. So it's got a, a ring, a couple of rings of. of bristles on the outside and then on the inside it's just a, a sheepskin um, so it's almost acting like a like you know a finishing rag which is really nice and it makes them shiny the last step that I do is I take a rag usually an old towel or something that I don't use inside anymore and I get it wet and then I clean out his nose and then I use a separate rag or a different portion of that rag and I wipe off any crud that you can accumulate around their eyes, especially in the summertime. And Frisbee's eyes seems to weep. So it's like he's crying and it makes me sad, but I don't like the eye boogers and stuff on his eyes. And then I use that also on his face to, you know, just clean his face off, then get rid of that one. And I use a fresh one the next time. So this is pretty much what I do on a daily basis to get my horse nice and shiny. And thanks for watching.